So we got ready here. And we need to just kick away some dudes. Uh, probably I shouldn't hope for a lot of value. I'm sad on these. Ah, whatever. He might have uh, the guys. You stand before royal majesty. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Um. Got business for. I'm just gonna go with with the smuggler. It's pretty unlikely that he's gonna lock that. Your will be done, sire. Yeah, he's not doing that. Still kind of good. Hmm. Might as well go for some kind of tempo. Ryan! Hopefully not get roach. Alright. If if I was in charge, I and I'm not saying that I should be, I would have simply the time of the uh, frost and white light worked on more cards and realized the fact that uh, the players don't like the... F well, the gameplay needs... Needs spicing up. Has yet to and I suppose I do have some preference myself. Thank you. Okay, we need to remove the armor of that guy. I would have simply went for like uh, balance patches after every season. Like every season should be different. And I'm and uh, promising new cards after every season is just unrealistic a little bit. So that's not gonna happen, but they can try balance patches, like there's definitely room for something. Also what I would have liked to see is uh, maybe some uh, quest modifiers to how you build your deck, because I've seen that in like uh, one or two games that that from season to season there's like some kind of uh, different rule sets to ranked, and that makes like, wow I got these cards but now uh, the rules of the game are slightly different, so I'm like, the, the the deck I used last season is not as good, so the rules are different, I have to use these cards differently now. And that's kind of cool, so I think that would have been awesome as well. You shall taste of your own medicine. Wait, am I messing up? Let us sing the song of steel! Not right now. So I would have liked something like that. Six months is crazy. Yeah, and it's CDPR we're talking about. We'll probably get the whole thing for December at best. It's basically like a year. So that's quite a long time. We'll pay men back for their persecution! For the king! Okay, it's becoming more and more troublesome. He has some value generation, but I can play this for 16 now. And play this for... 14? So it's 30, but he's he also generates value. Or it's probably a, not something I shouldn't do. He did play two golds already, so uh, that's something. Yeah, it's just too risky right now. I think we're just gonna pass. I don't care too much about who goes uh, uh, first or second last round. Okay, uh, I missed some uh, messages. I feel they took on more than they could chew. The success of Gwent was unexpected and the amount of work they had to do on it was underestimated. I think the like the work on the art is just like uh really next level. Let the dawn speak in. <laughs> I I've not, not seen that art quality. Ah, mean they've not forgotten me. From anybody. Nice, nice. I'd Challenger will be in December, so it's uh, it will be before that. Okay, he just like says like, yeah, you have Wardancer mate, that's cool. Card advantage for you. 
I like that. I think it's a good decision to take it back and redesign the game. Leader passive should be brought back. Rose and Gold's immunity maybe. Intimately they have... Uh, I guess you mean ultimately they have to change majority of the cards. All right, let's go with that. I don't think the new direction of like getting bonuses uh, based on the rows you place it on and uh, crap like that is gonna be any good or necess necessarily is gonna be any good. So, I'm not exactly sold. And in a way, they are building on a mistake. The mistake to uh, remove Rolak. Which turned out to be objectively a mistake. So, I'm not so sure. There's definitely, like, you can say, like, more decision making if you can just put it anywhere. But, like, there, there were quite a bit of decision making if the unit has, like, a single purpose. And you have to build your deck around that. I preferred Rolak. I'm actually curious what you guys uh, think about the situation. Anyway, GG. Alright, we got Foltus here. And... I don't know what... I right, we need that. We need that too. Maybe not that. Oh, that's good. Okay. Do I wanna control the game against Foltest? I think I do. So we're gonna start playing against Foltest. Salutations. Oh, he's that kind of boring Foltest. I thought we were gonna have a challenge here. Can I just kill that? Should I just kill that? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. Okay, I just kill that. <laughs> Uh, by the way, our balance changes coming next season, or we'll have one more season of this. I, I don't know any more than you, AJ. You think like I'm, I'm your, I'm their love buddy? I'm just like, hey, what's up? I'm gonna whisper sweet nothings in your ear, while we are like telling you nothing. No, I don't know a damn thing. AJ. They, they said it's coming in May. That's all I know. Water as a poison. I didn't mean to be mean, I just wanted to be You one of us or like, not? Like I don't know. Say something dumb. <laughs> oh what are we gonna be doing here? This is actually not bad. Follow me this way. Tamaria has yet to speak its last. I'm not afraid. Oh, actually, Bunch is not so button. bad right now. Look what the werecat dragged in. It takes out all the trebuchets. I don't know when it's coming out, so... I don't know if it's gonna matter too much, because it seems like they're pretty committed to uh, focusing on their long-term goal. Uh, they are pulling out uh, Gwen Dev's team to create minigames in, no in CP 2077. What? I might just need to pass 
eventually. But maybe not right now. Still have a... A decent move. We might be able to trade a bronze for something good. Close ranks! This is not great. Might be acceptable we though. So, let's just do it. We get some buffs. That's nice. Hey, probably people ask you 100 times, but in short, what are your feelings about the roadmap? Uh, unnecessary gamble that they didn't have to take. And uh, it's not guaranteed that's gonna uh, pay off. And I don't think that's how uh, online games should operate. The, it does show their confidence in the, in the in this whole process that they're gonna, uh, well, they're going for this whole project they're going for. But I'm not so sure that they are uh, that you can be co that confident in anything. So that's about that. I'm just gonna pass. Hey, New Jersey. I might want to check you his YouTube bit. Ah, oh, yeah. I guess that kind of covers it. Some are saying that Thronebreaker was a mistake and they should have concentrated on uh, multiplayer. Would you agree? I was always under the impression that uh, that was a different team. And uh, it makes sense for the studio because they are just really good at that stuff. They're just really good at making uh, uh, that kind of content. And... Uh, I was under the impression for a for a long time that the players, well, not players, developers responsible for like uh, making those kind of games were now part of the uh, the new sci-fi game. So that's was kind of their outlet for that. Riot! Uh, but they also wanted to make something for uh, Gwent, and they just really wanted to put it over the top. Um, and they actually want to charge money for it and, and only make on it, well, that, that's that's fine, Literally. but like, make it money only, that, that's a bit weird. Because with that decision is kind of like devaluing their in-game currency, they're just saying like, oh, like if you get like, like, you can't buy that for like, um, 5,000 scraps, you know, you know, our in-game currency is not worth uh, that ah, much. They used to tire my tongue about that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see behind the scenes. I, I, I'm certainly curious about, uh, uh, like, about Thronebreaker. But if they, like, sacrificed, uh, if they, if they sacrificed the multiplayer aspect of the game, uh, to push it, then I would probably have to call it a mistake. <laughs> What's reinforcements out? Drink this, you'll feel better. Mm. All right, let's go with that. Why not? not fail. Hey, Jim. Uh, I miss your opinion about the roadmap. Uh, I, I made a video about it. It was a tough video to make, I have to say. It's one of the toughest I, I've, I've made. It was not easy. We are trying to win with that shoop now. I don't know if it's gonna work out. Sure, be glad to. 
We're trying. Uh, we are trying to take the eight-powered dude as well. Interesting politics. To arms! I think the positive reactions about roadmap, like the most positive reactions I've heard about the roadmap, we'll was saying that you know I'm I'm not that interested in Gwent. You know I'm I'm totally supporting this uh, uh, quite extreme move to uh, make Gwent awesome again. <clears throat> A lacerate. We elves have our paths. Don't worry about me. Get a move on, lads. Look alive. But it's just too extreme, in my opinion. And I don't think, like, I think they are mostly right. The the, the, the right the direction is mostly right, but like, if the if the path uh to get there is like incorrect, like, is it is it still right? I don't know. I suppose there are a lot of things uh, combined with that patch that I just don't care about. I mostly care about the gameplay. And as far as gameplay goes, like, it's not gonna change that much. Anyway, GG.